So let's look at more examples, such as page 72, letter G. If you look at letter G, it shows that 2 cubic root 3 times 4 cubic root 9. 2 and 4, they are rational numbers, so you may multiply only these two. And then cubic root 3 and then cubic root 9, they are the radical number. So you only multiply between them. Then it becomes 8 cubic root 27. So far, it could be answer, but we need to simplify 27. So 27 is 9 times 3, 3 times 3. Oh, it complete triple, which means it become 8 times 3. So become 24 should be the answer for this problem. Let's look at J. J is square root W minus 2, square root of W, minus 9. Okay, then, like we did before, we fold them out. Then this become square root of W square, minus 9W, minus 2, oh, square root of W, root W, plus 18. Then this become w and total become 11 root w and plus 18. That should be the answer for this problem. What about the m? m is square, square root of 3 minus 2 root of 5 square. Okay. This one, if you think this answer is 3 plus 4 times 5 and then 3 plus 20 equal to 23 then this is the totally wrong because whenever you see like that you must multiply same thing twice that's what this means and then you have to fold them so it becomes square root 9 minus 2 root 15 minus 2 root 15 plus 4 root 25 so you may notice that I just multiply between rational number also between the radical number only okay now simplify if it is possible then this become 3 minus 4 root 15 plus 4 times 5 so 3 minus 4 root 15 plus 20 so the final answer become 23 minus 4 root 15. That will be the answer. Then, one last question, maybe Q. What about these problems? Root 3 minus root x times root 3 plus root x. As you see there, conjugate. Conjugate case, you can apply this property. Therefore, this become root 9 minus root x square, which means 3 minus x. That will be the answer for this problem.